Thank you, Betsy. Now we're going to hear from the student elected to speak from the bachelor's class of 2022, Gerald Sill. <laughs> I got to introduce you first. Gerald has earned a minor in urban studies along with his BA in public policy. While at Michigan, Gerald has held internships and jobs with the Washtenaw County Public Defender's Office, the Center on Finance, Law, and Policy with me, Organizational Studies, ISR, and Media Matters for America. That's in addition to working for the Michigan Daily and serving as treasurer for the students of color in public policy. He's been a busy man. Gerald is headed to Seattle, where he'll take a position as career consultant analyst at Mercer. So I'm so pleased to welcome Gerald to the podium. Thank you, Team Barr. Good evening, distinguished faculty and staff of the Ford School, friends and family, and graduates of the Ford class of 2022. I must admit, when Dean Barr informed me that the Gerald R. Ford School of Public Policy would be renamed the Gerald R. Sill School of Public Policy, I was a little bit shocked. Obviously, obviously the accomplishments that Dean Barr just listed speak for themselves. Oh, we're, we're not doing that? <laughs> Are you sure? We share the same first name and middle initial. The rebranding cost would be super minimal. Oh, so I've just been informed that's not what we're doing here today. It's an honor to be part of such an incredible graduating class filled with angel scholars, MLK Spirit Award winners, former Hill and government interns, and the organizers of the senior class bar crawl. I'm so proud of all of you for persevering through a pandemic in Zoom University, Professor Stevenson's microeconomics class, and many other challenges to get to this moment. Over the past few days, you have likely received many well-deserved congratulations from family and friends, followed by the question, so what exactly is public policy, and what does one do with a public policy degree? If anyone knows the answer to that question, please see me after the ceremony so you can tell my mom. <laughs> Many of us chose to study public policy because we wanted to make an impact and help change the world for the better, from combating climate change to reducing economic inequality to fighting for racial justice. Or in my case, you are looking for a major that would allow you to avoid taking Michigan math. In all seriousness, I am so excited to see what all of you smart, talented, and kind graduates will accomplish, from becoming business leaders to policymakers to judges and professor professors. Sometimes I worry about the future, but as, I look, but as I look amongst this incredible cohort, I know that the world is in good hands. Right up the road from us here on Hill Street is the Gerald R. Sill, I mean Ford School, <laughs> and next to Weill Hall is the Chabot House. For the past couple of years, as I've walked past, I have often seen a message go by on the electronic sign outside that reads, the world depends on your one good deed. When I first saw that message, my initial reaction was, wow, that's a lot of pressure, and well, I better do something big. For a long time, I thought that the only way to truly make an impact was to do something grand, like how in a romantic comedy, Professions of love come from holding up a boombox outside a window or stopping someone from getting on a plane. In public policy, in the public policy world, I guess this would be analogous to passing groundbreaking legislation or giving a rousing speech that turns public opinion. However, I have come to realize that to make an impact, you don't necessarily need to do something big. Graduates, when we reflect, when we reflect on the moments that helped us reach this point, we likely do not think of extravagant, extravagant gestures but rather small moments of sacrifice, kindness, and empathy. From a parent rushing us to soccer practice after a long day of work, to a professor staying after class to answer a question, to a friend checking up on us when we've gone a little too hard at the senior bar crawl. I hope that I can serve as proof that even little things can make a big difference. <laughs> so not only to the Ford B8 class of 2022, but everyone here, I hope that you'll seize the opportunity every day to do one good deed and then another, and then another. The world depends on it. Congratulations to the Ford graduates of 2022, and forever, go blue.